Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are all of the books that I would love to read in May. Let's get into these romance books that I would love to check out in May. First, I would love to highlight Tiffany and I's Beam Me Up book club pick for the month of May. We're actually going to be starting our Horde Kings read along. So for the next three months, Tiffany and I will be reading two books in the Horde Kings of Dakar series. So the first two books that we're going to be reading is Captive of the Horde King and Claimed by the Horde King. But the information for the live show and all that jazz are going to be down below. We're also going to be having a reading sprint on my channel halfway through the month. I know two books is more than one that is typically in a um, book club book pick, um, but Tiffany and I would really love to highlight this series. Tiffany's never read this series before and I love it. It's one of my favorites of all time with alien romances. So I'm so thrilled that she gets to read it, that I get to reread them. The audiobooks are fantastic. So the first book in the series is amazing. Um, and I can't wait for everyone else to join us. So be sure to join us towards the end of the month. Um, again, all the information will be down below, like our live show and everything. But if you love fantasy romance and you want to get into alien romance, this is a great starter series for you. Amazing. It reads like fantasy romance. For my book with disability rep for this month, I would love to read Things I Read About by Kelsey Humphreys. So the heroine and the hero of this story have a past. I think they had like a weekend or a day and night together a few years ago or months ago where they like had a grand old time, but she never left her phone number or anything. Um, and now this hero has been hired to be the heroine's bodyguard for whatever reason. I love bodyguard romances. That sounds amazing. I love like the added angst of the fact that they like knew each other before. Um, for representation in this one, it has neurodivergence representation and dyslexia representation. For a book from my Kindle library, I would love to pick up Plucked by the Orc by Jenna Larkin. I got this book last month during the, um, like freebie Kindle day. I can't remember what that's called. Stuff your Kindle day. There you go. <laughs> this is a Regency monster romance, which two of my favorite romance genres blended together. I love it. The hero of this story, um, I think is going to help our heroine become like this worthy, like beautiful looking lady for society. I think he has to make her like look like a lady for society, even though she's far from it. That sounds so fun. And the fact that he's a monster, <laughs> like sign me up. For a book from my physical TBR, I'm doing a repeat from a month or two ago. This is Show Me The Way by TC Mattson. I'm having a really hard time reading physical books right now. Like I'm just, I don't care if I repeat books because I want to read this. I do. So it's okay to put it on another TBR. This is the romance with our heroine who's a single mom. She's new to town. And this is her romance with the landlord who has a damaged past. He's tortured. He's broody. All buzzwords for me. So it is fairly short. I should pick this up and I need to. I'm, I'm, I need to do it. My historical romance for the month. If y'all don't know, I have a dedicated video every single month for my channel members where I will read and vlog a historical romance that's in my collection. So this month is Captain Jack's Woman by Stephanie Lawrence. This is going to be my first Stephanie Lawrence book. And I think this is also a pirate romance. And like, look at how beautiful this cover is. It's so pretty. I'm so excited for this too, because this is another like pirate historical romance where the heroine is disguising herself as a cabin boy in order to get on the boat. And the hero like knows immediately that that's a woman and he's going to like mess with her. <laughs> love it. Next, I have a book that I would love to pick up that's on my Libby. So this month I have Through His Eyes by Nikki Ash. My friend Caitlin from The Love Librarian really hypes up Nikki Ash. I own one of her books. I've met her before. Um, and so I do want to pick up one of her books. I think she writes a lot of like surprise pregnancy romances. And I think this one also has plus size representation, which I always love. It seems like our hero is a tattoo artist and the heroine walks into a shop one day and he like knows the moment that he sees her, like he's done. He's done for it. Like that is going to be his person. I guess the kind of like the title weaves in of like, oh, he's trying to show her the beauty that he sees in her through his eyes. I'm really excited for this one. I know Caitlin really loves this one. So I hope I love it too. Next is Rootbound by Tara DeWitt. This is an audiobook that came in through Libby as well, but this is going to be failing my prompt for author backlist. This is the only book by Tara DeWitt I have not read yet, except for her new release, like Savor It, that one. I obviously haven't read that one yet, um, but Rootbound is from her backlist. I have not read this one yet. I think this is a small town romance. I think it's like a big city girl coming back to her small town. Yeah, the heroine's a photographer. She goes to her estranged father's ranch on like a photography assignment because it also doubles as a place for filming like a specific TV show. This is a romance with Henry who's kind of been adopted into her family and they don't get off on the right foot. I'm gonna love all the bickering and angst between these two and I think this is Tara's debut book. 
So I'm really excited to say that I read all of her backlist. Next is a book to continue on with a series that I'm in. So I'm going to be picking up The Heir Apparent's Rejected Mate by Kate C. Wells. I got this off of Kindle Unlimited and I'm just dying for a paranormal faded mate romance. And so this is the second book in the five pack series. I read the first one a few months ago earlier this year and loved it. It was so good. So I think all the books in this series are about like rejected mates which I love. I need more in my life. And I feel like only this series is going to provide that for me. <laughs> so it looks like a heroine Rosie in here is rejected by her mate, Kata, Kadok. How do you say that? C-A-D-O-C. Kadok? Kadok? <laughs> So sorry, I'm butchering that. Um, anyway, it looks like these two are faded mates, but he rejects her because he's like this heir apparent and she's like on the low totem pole of their pack ranking. But they have like this one night when they figure out that they're mates and they like basically hook up to like secure this bond, but like they're not together after that point. But then she finds out she's pregnant. So um, I love a surprise baby trope. So I'm actually really excited for this one. Next is a book from an unknown author and an unknown book that I've never heard of before. So one that I found off of Libby is Defender of Walls by Tanya Bird. This is the first book in the Kingdom of Walls series. And it looks like this is a fantasy romance. So apparently in this kingdom, our heroine Blake lives on one side of the wall where famine is rampant, everyone is starving. And on the other side of the wall, is food and like the where the kingdom prospers. And so Blake will do whatever is necessary to make sure her family gets fed and survives. And so one of the guards that's guarding the wall, she tries to I think like seduce him or something. He like helps her out, I think. I don't I don't know what's going on, but it's a romance between her and this commander guy who's guarding the wall. The thing that hooked me definitely in the summary, it says this is a dark star-crossed lover's tale. Love dark and star-crossed lovers. Yes, please. For a hyped book, I'm gonna be reading Unsteady by Peyton Corinne. I've heard a lot of my friends talk about this. This is a romance between a figure skater and a hockey player. I think our hockey player hero got injured on the ice and the heroine and him meet when they are on the rink together. And she ends up finding out like he's having a panic attack on the rink because he's like freaking out because he's like back on the ice after his injury. And so she helps him through his panic attack and it's like that's how they meet, which I love that setup so much. So I'm so excited. I have the audiobook coming in soon. Like I am thrilled to read this book. Another one coming in on Libby is Wild For You by Kristen Proby. I'm picking this book from a 2024 book release. I'm trying to read books that are coming out this year. So this is one of them. This is an age gap, single dad, nanny, grumpy sunshine romance. All the buzzwords for me. It's small town romance. This takes place on the, the Wild River Ranch. Um, and he has two kids and then all three of them. So the kids and the dad end up falling for our heroine who becomes their nanny. And the last book that I have is a monster alien book. So I of course picked Only the Clonely by Ruby Dixon. <laughs> this one came out last month in April towards the middle of the month and I still haven't read it yet. And this looks to be a spinoff of another series by her because I see Lord Strike's name in here, which there's a book called Strike from her. And on that spaceship, it was full of alien clones. And if you don't know in Rubyverse, um, you are a clone if you have red skin. And so you can see on the cover, this here has red skin. Um, so he's a clone. And this is his romance with Ruthie, who we've met in another book that Ruby has written where she's a clone also, but an illegal clone because clones, you're supposed to have red skin. Um, and so anyway, I don't want to go into it, but both of these people are clones. And I'm really excited to read it because obviously it's a Ruby Dixon book. Anyways, so you have it. Those are all the books that I will hopefully be reading in May. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me um, a ship or a boat emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.